Hey everyone, Phil from Got Memories here. I'm going to show you a VHS tape here that is deteriorating. Now, this is Christmas 85, so we're 2022 right now, so quite old. Now, inside of here, there are little tiny particles. I don't know if you can see them there. There's some bigger ones there, if I can shake it down a little bit. But when I open the top, and excuse me here, because I'm doing this one-handed, but uh, fiddly tapes, there we go. All right, so you can see, let's have a look here, get the lighting right. See those little tiny streaks? Like the little up downs there. That, if you put that in a VCR, it's going to show static, but it's also going to start to clog the heads, okay? Because, if I keep this open, oh, oh my goodness, it's been a long day, but uh, this is something I wanted to show everyone. So, if I go like that, and give it a good back and forth, look at that. So, those are the particles of the tapes. Now, the reason for me making this video is not only to motivate you to actually do something with your home movies, but also to explain why so many companies, transfer companies, suck because they're not identifying this and your, their heads clog and then your tapes go next. So I saw that, those particles, and I'm like, yeah, there's nothing. I'm not ruining heads and other people's stuff. Um, because this is why <clears throat> these companies, this is legacy box right here. See that? This is what happens when, uh, heads get clogged and I mean, I could go on and on. I got other videos in, in the channel, just exampling why things suck so badly. Um, yeah, look at this. This was a customer that had all this footage missing. It's because their heads get clogged. No one's paying attention. And then it, uh, yeah. And then it just, the picture disappears. And it's because they put tapes in that are bad. Now this particular one, I'm gonna have to go through and salvage, but you can see here, I mean, it's just fallen to pieces, unfortunately. And it's, you know, it's Christmases. So you've got to really do something before your tapes um, deteriorate like that. Uh, it's so unfortunate, but you know, it is just the wrath of time and these tapes were not made for longevity. So, if you do have them sitting around in 2022, I mean, look, these are all Christmases. It's, yeah, it's not good. But um, unfortunately, yeah, this tape is shot because it's not bringing up a picture uh, because the picture is literally disappearing. Uh, and also it's ruining um, the heads on my VCRs. So um, they all need to have, you know, clear pictures like this. Picture perfect, clean pictures. And this comes from having mon uh, maintained heads uh, and somebody that knows what they're doing versus some owl employee that just they hire and fire and they don't care about your stuff. I care about your stuff, the quality that comes off of them and also not putting tapes in players that are going to be completely uh wrecking equipment and then everybody's tapes after that are going to be shot as well because these companies will put stickers on your tapes i don't have them but i've got the stickers but i've got other videos with them uh and they put stickers on your tapes saying due to the age of your media um the digital copy is crap and most of the time your tape is fine it's just that the previous person's tape was crap which then ruined their equipment they put your tape in you get what i'm saying so so, please, if you are searching around for a company to transfer your stuff, okay, yes, I am self-promoting here, but if you want to shop around on the internet for a company, make sure they have a 5.0 on Google and hundreds of reviews like this. Um, if they've got a 5.0 and they've got 11 reviews, that means their grandparents, their next-door neighbors, the friends, they all put reviews up. When you've got hundreds of them, hundreds and hundreds, it tells a story that the company cares about getting feedback uh, and also, you know, just does really good conscientious work. With this kind of thing, this isn't an Amazon purchase. There's no consumer awareness in this industry about 
the ins and outs of it. And that's why with Legacy Box, Kodak Digitizing, South Tree, iMemories, you see on their Facebook ads, the comments, it's just all a mass complaining center. And it's quite scary when you've got one copy of this stuff and you're handing it over to the lowest bidder because everyone's just going, oh, this guy's 15 a tape, this guy's eight, this guy's seven, this guy's six. If you're paying under 25 to $30 a tape, you're taking a massive risk. So, you know, buyer beware, um, you get what you pay for. I have people that have paid 10 bucks a tape and they come to me and depending on what they have in quantity and pricing, I'm not cheap. So they're paying more expensive rates to get quality work done. And they also paid money to get crappy work done. So um, please do your homework on these companies. Have a look through my videos on Got Memories and you will start to see, I know what I'm talking about. And you've really got to just, you've been sitting on these tapes for decades and they're just getting worse and worse, worse with age. So do something with them. But if you are looking for someone in your local area, then due diligence is required. If you are looking to ship them out, gotmemories.com. I'm shutting down for the night here, uh, but I have a lot of equipment, do film transfers, and I just came across this tape, so I wanted to make this video. And hopefully that'll kind of help some people from not making the wrong decisions um, because... I have just wrecked two VCRs and I now have to open up and clean the heads and blow them out because of this one tape. So, yeah. Anyway, all right, all the best, guys, and uh, cheers.